I was just shocked when I woke up one morning and he wasn't there anymore. That tragic day was last week Monday. In the early morning hours, Guam police officer Bert Piolo was shot in the chest and pronounced dead shortly after. Longtime friend Greg Lazama was devastated by Piolo's sudden passing. Today, Lazama, along with family and close friends, gathered at the ITC intersection for a peace rally, what they're calling justice for Bert. We're here today in hopes to enlighten people that we need justice for our friend. Uh, he was a good person, a good-hearted man, um, very kind to everybody, very humble, um, had his whole life ahead of him. Piolo was allegedly shot by another officer, Mark Torrey Jr., at the Torrey home in Gigo. Torrey was charged with murder, manslaughter, and aggravated assault. Although bail was initially set at a half million dollars, Torrey was released on reduced bail, a $165,000 property bond, land owned by Torrey's grandmother. He remains on house arrest to third-party custodians, his grandmother, his mother, and his wife. Torrey is prohibited from communicating with anyone from GPD, including his father, a lieutenant with the force. Tory's release was an upset for Lazama, who was present at the bail hearing last week. You know, really, uh, I was really upset with uh, them lowering the bail um, with all the evidence at hand. Um, he, too, had a reputation. He, too, was in SWAT, you know, and I feel just because his presence wasn't there, I don't feel as if he was, he was uh, defended properly because he wasn't in the room. Guam Police Department is heading the homicide investigation. What Lazama hopes won't be a conflict, seeing as the case involves two of their own. I'm just hoping everybody's honest enough and they do it the right way. You know, he was he was a human being before he was an officer. He was a friend, a father, a husband, an uncle, a brother. He meant a lot to us. Piolo was 38 years old and worked as a GPD officer for over 15 years. He was also a percussionist for local band Soul Vibes and recently started the clothing line Good Vibes. He was a husband and a father to four children. Last respects for Piolo are scheduled for this weekend. Funeral services are going to be on Saturday from 9 a.m. and then according to uh, the family, it will be at uh, Our Lady of Peace after the Mass. So there will be a procession. I believe there's also going to be a motorcade starting at 7.30, uh, following around the island to all the services and agencies that he used to work for. While Piolo is laid to rest, family and friends pray for justice. The last thing I want to say is I miss you so much, Bert, and I wish you were here with us. I love you, Park. Tori is scheduled to appear in court tomorrow before Judge Michael Berdalio. Proceedings get underway at 4 p.m. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco.